What's up, beautiful people, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Nikoma Kombalamo Fama Dini. And I am so excited to be sharing this video with you guys. So, how to get seven distinctions? How do you do it? Will I ever do it? I did it. And to share with you a bit of information, I was just an average student, but I got seven distinctions on my final grade 12. And then uh, I did my metric in 2021 and I got my results on the, t on the 21st of Jan 2022. The reason why I don't even forget the date, it's because you never forget the date that you got your seven distinctions, huh? Like, you won't forget it. You don't forget it. So, if I could do it, I know that you can do it too. So, listen to what I have to say. Okay, so the first one, the first, first point on how to get seven distinctions is have a spiritual drive. Like, in other words, put God first. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take you to church. Guys, if God did it for me, I know that he can do it for you guys. And having a spiritual drive actually motivates you when you are down. When all the motivational speakers in the world fail to motivate you, when each and everything seems impossible, God is going to show you that it's really possible. And putting God first in my life just made me get those distinctions because uh, in every test that I wrote, I put God first in every exam. I prayed first in each and every study session. I put God first. So I know that he can work for you too. Okay. And the second thing is past question papers are the building blocks of getting seven distinctions. Like you can study all you want, but as long as you don't know how the exam is going to be, as long as you don't know the questions, that are going to be like the questions that you might expect in an exam then i don't see you go going anywhere to be honest with you like do quite past question papers sometimes you might get past question papers that do not have memorandums but uh that's where you can go to your teacher and your teacher is going to explain or your teacher is going to correct you. So just remember that even though you don't have the memorandum, your teacher is the memorandum. You see? Okay. And also, it's really good to do past question papers because when you write your final exams, you're just going to be knowing what to expect in each and every question. And that, that builds confidence. Oh, sorry. That builds confidence. So, um, the other thing is know yourself. <laughs> you have to know yourself. Whew. You have to know yourself. Like, know what kind of a student you are. Know if you prefer reading in noisy places or in quiet places. Know things like, um, are you, which subject is challenging for you and which one is, is your student strong point you know you have to know yourself that way and you also have to know that you, if you really want those seven distinctions it means you deserve them like when are you deserve them i see you you deserve those seven distinctions so uh knowing yourself is another way of being smart enough to believe and have confidence in yourself because if you know yourself then you know you can do it if you know yourself you will know that um you are going to do it and just remember that the law of success is genuinely believing in yourself. You can do anything as long as you tell yourself that this is, this is, this is possible. This is possible. Like if you believe that you can do it, then it really means that you can do it. That's the confidence you need to have. And you can only have that confidence if you really know yourself, right? And then the other thing is... <laughs> This one is funny, guys. <laughs> Be respectful to your life orientation teacher. <laughs> your life orientation teacher is important. <laughs> I am telling you, honestly, do your work. Do your life orientation work. Um, do the past question papers that your teacher gives you, your life orientation teacher. They're important. Because let me share a bit of information with you. Your life orientation teacher is actually the one who is going to mark your final exam paper. So, you know, respect your life orientation teacher. Sorry. Give them uh, respect by doing what they expect you to do. Okay. And then, 
uh use useful study guides i feel as if a lot of people just buy useless stuff like why are you buying a useless study guide Jay? you're just buying this useless study guide that does not even help you like some people just buy study guides and then you only realize later on that this study guide was actually the most useless thing that i have ever purchased in my entire existence mm. it's getting dark in here excuse the light you know excuse the light like it's really it's getting dark i don't know the weather is changing in varsity you know some of us in varsity we experience weather changes <laughs> okay so another thing is um oh still on the useful study guides know which study guides really work for you and another tip for doing this is if you used a specific study guide in grade 11 for example you used the answer series study guide when you go to grade 12 make sure that you still use the same type of study guide like the answer series grade 12 study guide so also do um i do subscribe so that when i post a video on what useful study guides you need to buy so that you are aware ne? you just uh, you know just click and also click the you know click click you know just subscribe S subscribe yes you're straight okay and then uh what's the other thing what's the other thing okay the last thing that i'm going to be sharing with you guys is to start studying the minute you finish this video i am begging you to take your life like your life your, your life is in your hands your seven distinctions are in your hands you can even count them with your hands one two three four five six seven seven distinctions okay so just know that um when you finish watching this video you just start studying because you don't want to waste your time you don't want to waste your time and only realize later that you had wasted your time but it's good enough for me to tell you that you have to start studying as early as possible and you are never late you are never late if you still have time if you still have two hours you are not late you can start in an amount of like two hours only you can do a lot of work and remember that studying doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be on your box like 24 7 no do enjoy yourself do gossip with your mother do gossip with your father do gossip with your friends can't believe i advised you to gossip don't gossip but <laughs> just try to do something enjoyable for me something enjoyable is spending time with my family and then uh friends um and also i forgot to tell you guys have uh friends who are willing to go on the same road that you want to go if you want to get seven distinctions get a friend who also wants to get seven distinctions why am I talking so slow? I think I'm being serious, you know. When I'm serious, like I even soften my voice. But um uh wishing you good luck on your metric year if you're doing metric, if you're rewriting metric, wishing you an amazing year, and I know that you're going to get your seven distinctions. And just remember that varsity is nice guys varsity is nice so i can't wait for you guys to join the varsity life with me i'm also going to be sharing videos on that like varsity vlogs and all the things we do here and the kind of um the kind of course i'm doing which is one of the best uh, courses in the world i believe so because i'm doing it it's so exciting but Till next time, stay blessed and don't forget to subscribe. You know I love you. <laughs> so, guys, I love you so much. Um, wishing you a blessed day. Please, please, please do subscribe.